those of you that make fun of this calculator, man, you're going to be you're going to be sorry one day cuz we're going to know when MOAS is. You know why? Cuz the day that the calculator has a 101% chance of GameStop going up, you're going to know it's MOAS time. What's going on? We're going to do the calculator for Fidelity. By the way, this is not my calculator. This is Fidelity's calculator. I have nothing to do with this. I'm just simply showing you their calculator. It is the most renowned probability calculator for options out there. Um, historically speaking, you can look up the track record. It's there. Um, but again, considering how long it's taking to load, um, <laughs> it could be my internet. But anyways, let's take a look and see what the percent chance is for up versus down move for tomorrow. And I did hit the key, so bear with me. What is happening? Okay. Probability calculator. Where are we at? 10-5. <laughs> Today was 10-4. Get it? 10-4. That means yes. All right. So we have a 41-42% chance above and a 58-58% chance below. That really bugs me that that's not a 2. Come on, Fidelity. Okay, so very crazy. Now let's check AMC. Not AM, AMC. Forty-eight, sixty-eight, fifty-one, thirty-two. All righty. Well, today was boring as shit. So I imagine we may see the same thing until this whole Treasury thing gets resolved. Because again, the Treasury balance is damn near dried up. So don't know if anything exciting is going to happen while the Treasury's on the ver on the verge of emptying its pockets. So keep that in mind. This may be a good week to just sit back, relax, hold, and uh, don't do anything like sudden movements. Just, you know, shit post, fuck it. Shit post, shit post week. Um, I don't think there's any weekly hype this week, but I imagine that could change at a moment's notice. So if any hype starts randomly appearing, just ignore it. It's it's not going to happen. <laughs> it hasn't all year. It's not going to. It's all designed to keep you distracted. But anyways, have a good night.